Hello folks and welcome. So I have a subscriber that is requesting a video in regards to how to install themes for the Plasma desktop and also mouse cursors. Um, the question was asked, is it the same as a GNOME and XFCE desktop? The answer is no. Um, but they do share some similarities and there's one folder specifically that will uh, store your mouse cursors and all three desktops. And I'll show you that uh, folder a little bit later. I'll talk about the folder locations for your global themes and the locations of these mouse cursors. And I'll talk about themes in general today. This is KDE Neon 6. It is brand new, hot off the press. KDE Plasma version 6. And it's using a 6.5 series kernel. I'll do a little bit touching on what is new with Plasma 6, but not a deep dive. The subscriber again asked for this video and uh, the question was how do I install themes and mouse cursors versus the other two desktops so that's what I'm going to cover today also the fact is uh, you may download this version and uh, you open up your file manager if you are missing your documents downloads and all the other subfolders uh, I will talk about how to put all these things in there without you manually having to create those I have some information on it with this uh, text file here for you. So I am filming in 1920 by 1080. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about appearance and style. 1920 by 1080, so adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. Now the name of my channel is Linux for Seniors. Linux is for any age, but uh, that logo should be floating above where the time and date is with some yellow bars around it if you'd like to subscribe. If it is missing, go find me on YouTube if you'd like to subscribe. All right, so I do recommend that because you may be missing your home folder and let's cover that first. So KRunner is always running in the background, so I'm just gonna type in KO and it'll find it immediately and hit enter. I will make this a little bit larger for you and that's the command for adding those folders. I'll move this to the side for a second and open up this file so you can also see it in a white background. There are no spaces in here, so perform that command directly in your console and hit enter. It doesn't require sudo. And it should automatically add all of these folders automatically in there if they are missing. So I downloaded this new version and they were missing. So all I did was perform that command and it automatically puts them in there for you. So if you have that affliction, perform that command. Also, if you reinstall uh, KDE Neon 6, you may want to subscribe and have this video for later. All right, so I'm going to first talk about the uh, file manager, and then I'll talk about a couple of things uh, like screenshots. Now, the screenshot tool is called Spectacle, and uh, in this tool here, there's a new feature in the Wayland desktop. I'm filming in the X11. In the Wayland desktop, you'll have another tab here. It'll say video on it. And that tool is still in involvement. Uh, I did some research on it, and the developers are still working on this, but it does not record sound. It records video, though. There's also another way to record sound, uh, sorry, record video only. Uh, in the Wayland desktop environment using key keyboard combinations, but I'm really not going to talk about that. But I will talk about your Dolphin having uh, maybe some features you may not be aware of. And you can see that little feature there. It says F3 on it, and it produces a split pane, and you can slide this back and forth. You can also go full screen by double-clicking, and you can divide this however you want. Uh, what's the purpose of something like that? Well, I'm going to click in here once and then click on my internal hard drive. And uh, you can also resize the icons independently. But you would be doing drag and drop. So if this was a USB stick to your internal drive, etc., etc. So that's F3. If the F3 doesn't work, maybe you're using a laptop and you may have to use other function, like function F3 or something like that. A uh, couple of more tips for you. Um, you can hit F9 to get rid of this little sidebar. F9, you return it. And then F10 produces a little box up here. Very similar to right-clicking on your screen. But this one here is a little bit more reduced. So that would be an F10. 
get some more options. So the next option I'm going to show is the hidden files, Control H. All right, are these large enough for you? Let's just put it in that size and then Control H. So Control H will show you hidden files and folders. It's a very common command on all Linux file managers as far as I know. Uh, very few don't have this command, but most modern Linux file managers do. And they'll display hidden files and folders. Everything that is hidden starts with a period or a dot. So this is a folder I create manually quite often. This is called period icons or dot icons. I'll also be talking about the folder next to it, which is called dot local or period local. What is in dot icons or period icons? Well, empty butterfly yellow is what I'm using. Now I manually install this. However, I do recommend since Plasma 6 is very new that you stick with the tools that are in your uh, system settings. But just to be aware, that's where they're installed. So I added this one using the tool and this one got added when I uh, added a global theme. Not all global themes install mouse cursors or mouse pointers, but this one did. It was called uh, Sweet and I'll get into that in a minute. The um, period local or dot local has a share folder. And in here, a lot of subfolders and this folder here will normally not be here unless you add a global theme for instance. And these three themes are currently what I installed. So how do you install global themes? Well, you go to the appearance and style section. The first pit stop you can make is global. I installed three of these. You can get new. All right, just be aware when you are in here to read that line at the top. It's been here since the last version also. The content available here has been uploaded by users like you and have not been reviewed by the distributor for functionality and the keyword is also stability. So my suggestion if you're going to do manual themes to install these that you know in these folder locations just be aware of certain things. When you install global themes in here it also scatters other files just be aware of that. Like your login screen information also sometimes gets affected by these kind of themes. My suggestion for right now is just to stick with the tools. But I wanted to show you the folder locations at least on two of them. When you click the install key you may not get a response from the screen. It may not be telling you that's installing. That's what my case was and I clicked it twice. Then about a minute later I get a post-it note that you're trying to install the same theme. So just be patient and allow it to finish. You may also get um, a response out of the system that will ask you for a password for this. Just be aware of that. So these three themes here are added manually. When you add themes, sometimes they'll add a cursor also. Like the sweet cursor got added when I added this theme here called Utterly Sweet. They sometimes also add icon sets. More importantly, like I said, since Plasma 6 is very new, may I suggest that if you are having problems and you install some things, is to switch back to your normal themes. Because Plasma 6 is still evolving. But stick with the tools in here, is what I recommend for right now. But at least I wanted to let you see how you install these things, and more importantly, where the folder locations are. So as in my cursor case, I installed this one manually, just to be honest with you. This one got installed by hitting the little dots up here, get new. And you can uh, also see the disclaimer here for cursors. You can also sort these in different ways. Highest rating, whatever it might be. Just allow the system to update. And uh, once you've got uh, the updater has been doing its job, then you can do the install thing. This will eventually update the pictures on it, depending on your internet connection and what's going on with the themes. So uh, in my case, I added this manually, so I have a trash can. I added this, sorry, I added this through this tool here. I added this one manually. I actually put it in this folder here myself. Put this one in here. But when you are staring at this, this is a trash can. Once you hit the delete key, it will delete it here and also not put it in your trash under 
default conditions. I normally delete them manually. But this got installed through this tool. And that one is called Skyrim and it's sitting right here. Now, you notice that it doesn't say breeze or breeze light, and these have a grayed out trash can. That means they're, they're installed in other locations. Usually USR share icons is where these are installed. Those have root permissions on them. The sweet cursor has a trash can because it got installed using a global theme. You did it, I did it manually in other words. Same thing here, there's trash cans here. Not here, they're grayed out. So these are your themes that came with the system. The breeze, breeze dark, and twilight. Folder locations, okay? So that's where they're located. All right, so control H. So a couple of things, if you're missing the folders from your brand new install, perform that command right there in your console. Again, it does not require sudo and it should automatically populate these folders so you don't have to create them manually. All right, anytime you make screenshots, um, it, they do save it in, uh, where is it at? It creates a screenshot uh, folder and uh, these are some of the screenshots that I made. So these were the original screenshots before I added the folders in your local share. You'll see no folders called themes in here because I didn't have any themes installed when I installed the system. So I did this on purpose just to let you see that the themes folder is not here. Also at the same time, I did another screenshot of the main home folder for this user and there is no period or dot icons. There is a period or dot local though, but not the period or dot icons folder. So that only occurs when you install a mouse cursor theme or a global theme that installs a mouse theme. And they all, they, some of these themes install more than one thing also. Just be aware that when you're installing a global theme, it sometimes installs cursors, sometimes icon sets, and also information regarding your login screen. So if the locations of those things are in separate places. So that's one of the reasons I would just recommend when you're installing a global theme, you install that through this system, through here. But I wanted to at least let you know some of the locations, like where the cursors are installed, for instance. Okay. So there's lots of little toys that are in version six. Again, the spectacle tool in the Wayland environment does uh, record video, but no sound. But I understand they're working on that. And your uh, K runner also is running in the background. So like I said, when you're opening that up, um, you may want to also check out your configuration. If you don't like the top, click that into the center box, hit apply. And then when you start typing and uh, I'll just type in Cal, then it'll, the box will appear in the center. It's just taking a guess of what I'm trying to type. Okay, that's K runner. So when you are changing your global themes, you're obviously going to get menu changes. And my recommendation, anytime you change your mouse pointers or themes or any of that stuff that has to do with icon sets, at a bare minimum log out, if not a full restart. I will show you one theme and one theme only in this video. I will um, find the appearance section and click on this very dark global theme. This is not everybody's cup of tea. As you noticed, it also uh, flipped over and switched my mouse cursor. I still have my yellow one, but I have a mix now because I haven't logged out of my system yet, or did I restart? But this yellow pointer goes well with this theme. It's very bright and neon. Icon looking for Firefox. Not everybody's cup of tea. File manager looks like this. Home screen. Resizing icons on the fly. Smallest, they go to black and white. And on the top end, they're very colorful. Extra buttons up at the top. Sometimes that occurs too with extra mouse cursors and also wallpapers. I'll give you an example of that. Sorry, I need to click on a blank spot. 
Um, so this theme is called colorful. So there's colorful wallpaper to go with that. This is one example of that. And uh, I'm going to close the screen down. And this is another one. And uh, the other theme is called Magna. So the, this one only came with, uh, I think, two wallpapers. So I'll switch this to the circle here for a second, just to give you that perspective. So I'm going to hit Apply. This is a very colorful background. And now you can see the menus are also very colorful. Our user for today's Tester 1, if you're curious about what that is all about. And uh, more importantly, I will say thank you for watching.